Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquis of Living Streams International, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. Like I said, I'm trying to capture the event of Easter, looking at it through various uh, principles. And I told you the principles are different. They come from different, from different angles, looking at Easter through different angles. And this morning, I'd like to capture my thoughts. Please help me carry. You remember when Jesus was carrying the cross and uh, the Bible says as he was going, you know, and then he, he fell. The weight, the burden, I mean, the, uh, the, the, the weight of the cross was, was too much for him. His frail body had gone through. His spirit was demoralized. His soul was tormented. And all those things, I mean, he had been denied. He had been betrayed. He had been whipped. His, his back had been lacerated with, this, with the whip as a scorpion torn his back to shreds he'd been i mean all sorts of things had been done on him you know he'd been he'd been made to wear a crown of thorns and uh, he, you know boy i mean that was just a lot a lot a lot and then as he was carrying the cross the bible said he tripped and fell the burden was too much spirit crushed body i mean flailed and all those other things you know and the bible says he fell but then there was a man called simon of cyrene the african you know, Africans have played a very great role in the Easter story, and sometimes people don't know it. But the truth of it is that Simon of Cyrene came and helped him carry the cross. He relieved him of the burden. He relieved him of the weight. Sometimes in life, leadership comes at a cost. And sometimes leadership comes, there's a price we have to pay for our vision. There's a price we have to pay for what we believe. There's a price you have to pay for where you're going. And sometimes you'll be very surprised. The burden, the weight of what you carry is going to throw you down. But here comes a good message. We need people who will step across. We need people who will look at everybody else laughing and holding them in derision. We need to look at people who is going to step across the aisle, who is going to step across the divide and help us up. Sometimes somebody needs help. When you see them down, they need help to get up. They need help. And you see, there were many people at that place, but there's one man whose name goes into eternity. For ages and ages, men will mention his name. Anytime you read about the crucifixion, someone of Cyrene's name is going to come up. Why? Because he helped somebody carry his cross. So please, don't mock, don't laugh when you see your brother down. Sometimes he needs help. Pick him up by the hand. Help him share the Lord. Share one another's burden. Help somebody carry their cross. They are going somewhere. Their name is going to be in the history books. You are going to play a very essential part because you help that one carry the cross. Don't be a spectator watching somebody go down. Don't, be, don't join the scornful and the, and the people who mock. Don't, don't add your voice to the voice of mockery. Don't add your voice to the voice of scorn. But rather what you need to do is help him carry the cross. Help her carry the cross. It's just for a moment, but help them. So you know what? It's an appeal. Please help me carry my cross as I help you carry your cross. It's a choice we all have to make. See you later.